and that there was no breach therein, uh, through, at, at that time, I had not set the doors upon the gates. Then Sambalat and Geshem sent unto me, saying, Come, let us meet together in some one of the villages of the plains of Ono. But they thought to do me mischief. And I said unto them, saying, I, I do a great work so that I cannot come down. Why should the work cease while I leave it and come down to you? So, these were the enemies of, of the Almighty and the enemies of the people of the Almighty and the enemies of the work of the Almighty. And they're saying, they're enticing them, hey, come, let's meet together so we can talk. But they thought to do a mischief. He said, man, I can't let the work stop. It, it, we got to run this waste with patience. And we're working for salvation. We're working for salvation. And we can't let our work stop for people. Or some of them are enemies or some of them are just brothers that just lack faith. They, don't let the work cease. Don't let the work slow down. Because if they cannot stop you, if the wicked one cannot stop you, he will try to slow you down to where you make as little progress as possible, where you grow as slow as possible, where you do the least work as possible, to perhaps you may be saved, but you are unfruitful. You may were able to bring 10 or 15 people to the Almighty, but because you got caught up with this brother or this son, or your husband or your kids, or you got caught up with all this stuff, you became unfruitful. And you need to be careful because you be unfruitful, it calls you thorny ground. And thorny ground people don't get into the kingdom. If your seeds on thorny ground, you don't make it. It says you bring no fruit unto perfection. And he says any tree that bringeth not fruit gets cut down and cast into the fire. Cut down and cast into the fire. It says that you should bear fruit and your fruit shall remain. So don't let these people slow you down. Save yourself from this untoward generation. Let's get this last scripture real quick. Oh, Joshua 24. Joshua chapter 24, and we'll start at verse 15. Joshua 24, verse 15. I tell this to all these people watching this video. Listen up. If it see evil unto you, Facebook and YouTube and all the people here in San Diego, if it see evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods of your fathers that serve which were uh, on the other side of the flood, when they were in Egypt, or the gods of the Armorite, whose land ye dwell. But as far as me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. We're going to serve the Almighty. He said, you choose who you want to serve. But as far as me and my house, me and my wife and my kids, oh, we're going to serve the Almighty. There ain't no sin running up in my house. No. You choose who you want to serve. Choose. And that's what I'm saying today. Choose who you want to serve. If you're going to serve the Almighty, you might have to drop some family and drop some friends and drop some jobs. And you know some of you people keep working on the Sabbath. The Almighty's only going to be patient for so long. Because guess what? If you die, you die a Sabbath breaker. You die a Sabbath breaker. You die a willful transgressor. You're going to receive a wicked reward. So um, with all that said being done, keep standing. Don't drop sinners. Serve the Almighty with everything you got. Save yourself from this untoward generation. Shalom. Give the Almighty a hand clap.